Mr. Maggie, sorry. Oh, um, sorry, Maggie went to fetch me. Mr. Maggie, because some other ones with a 16K or a 24. So this is just one, you know, which is quite easy, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody's here, right? Except uh, Lisa and so should I go ahead? Okay. Uh, I'll just start now with the sequence of putting up of the instrument. You must attend this long okay. 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 So to switch on the instrument, just there's a button here at the back. Let's fill here. Yeah, there is it. That's where you switch it on. After switch on, it basically goes to the self-test. It's a good sound now, it's the auto sound like initialized. You know? So when you switch on, you hear this, it's a sign of things are doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. So auto sound is initializing now. Uh, this is basically a light that shows you, an LED that shows you that the screen is still running that uh, the self test. Yeah. It will flash up until when it's finished, then it will stand so it could. So when it's solid green, then it means that the self-test is finished. If it happens that maybe for some reason you forgot to close the door, this will go to flashing yellow. You know? Yeah. It's either because flashing yellow is caused by the fact that maybe the door is not closed or there's no communication between the PC and the instrument. Yeah. So in future it happens that somehow you switch on the instrument and from flashing green it goes to flashing yellow and continuously just does the it's a sign that somehow there's no communication between the instrument and the PC and the instrument. And again if it happens that from flashing green it goes to red, that's like the sign that there's a big problem. Because the hardware failure something something is you know not working or need to be replaced or somebody will have to come in to do the test. But this is good. From flashing grid to solid grid, the side of the self test is completed, everything is passed. So this is good. You know? uh, again, there's no real sequence in terms of uh, switching on the instrument. Okay? Because other instruments, like our bigger sequencer, we have to start with the PC first. And after the PC is fully booted, then we start with the instrument. In this case, we can even switch on the instrument first, doesn't it? Yeah. After I've switched on the instrument, Uh, this is the software, the data collection software. This is the icon here. Just double click on that, and this will be solid. Yes. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this is a data collection software. Uh, if there was no communication between the PC and the instrument, we would have gotten an error message. Let's say it happens that somehow somebody moved the PC while cleaning and then plug this COM cable. Before you even get to the screen, you get an error message to say there's no communication. Yes. Another way to check indeed if the PC is picking up the instrument, you can just come to this window and say status. You know? Mm -hmm. It will show you that the instrument state is on idle. Electrophoresis is off, of course, nothing is happening. The laser is off and the doors are closed. Yes. No. So this is basically the window that you can also verify that okay, it's fine indeed. There's communication between the instrument and the computer. Yes. Uh, another thing here on the software as well, we've got a manual control window. No, that's also very important. Same, on the same uh, icon as, as the window, you know? The manual control is basically your, your, your interface where you put all the instructions that you want to do on the instrument. Let's say, for example, you want to, the tray to come forward so that you can load the sample. Here on the manual control window, you can just drop down on this one and look for auto sampler or say uh, to sampler present tray, you know? That's when you want to load your plate. You can just say click on that and say 
execute. When the class presents its way forward, so you can open and load your plate or unload your plate. See now it's it's very forward. There's actually quite a lot of instructions here that, that you can do manually to control the instrument. If you want to return the tray, you can go to uh, auto sampler return tray. Auto sampler return tray, <laughs> execute, it takes me the tray. So like I said, I mean there's like almost all the strike, I mean the, the, the commands, you know, auto sampler out, auto sampler down. Some of them are not really necessary. It's just maybe like if you want to do something manual. Buffer valve open, buffer valve close. I will show you guys now when I'll be doing the washing of the log log. Yeah, also the priming of the block. 